Hey y'all, and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry, and today we're going to talk about setting up channels in Discord for your RPG. So last time we talked about setting up a Discord RPG, we talked about the roles. So I'm going to go ahead and link that up in the card so that you guys can give that a watch first if you haven't yet, because we have to set up the roles before we can set up the channels. So once you've watched that, or if you already have, stay tuned, because we're going to talk about all of the different channels that we can use in Discord to set up your RPG. So I guess let's start at the top and work our way down. The general chat here is the channel that anyone can see. It's the default text channel Discord gives you, and I just change it into the general chat. Now we also have the members chat, which is here. This is the chat you can only access once you're fully joined to the RP and your application is approved and all of that stuff. Then we've got the not safe for work chat. So this is really similar, but instead of being locked to the members role, it's locked to the 18 plus role. And you can tell which of these channels is limited by when you see this little lock icon. So any of these little ones with lock icons, these are channels that I have set up so that only certain roles can get to them. So what that means is when you first join the server, you're not going to see anything that has this little lock icon. So next right here, we've got the moderator chats. Um, I have a few groups of mods, so there's two of these here. Helper chat right here is people that are, are mods, but um, they don't have quite the rights to do just anything. And then we've got the mod chat here, which is just the mods, and they have rights to do almost everything on the server except for the couple of things that we talked about last time when we talked about roles. Then right here, this admin testing one, this is just for me. So if I need to post something to the server and I wanna make sure that I have a chance to look over it and I like what it looks like and it doesn't meet that character limit that Discord has, I'll go ahead and post it here first until I post it where everyone can see it. So all of those are the chats. I don't have them in a specific category and that's to make them easy to access. And when I make them, I do it very similar to how I make the categories like we talked about last time. We go up here, right here to this little arrow. Then we click create channel. Then we click this private option right here. And then we can select the particular roles it is that we want to choose that have access to that channel. So next we have our categories. This first category here is called important. This is for all the channels that everyone should be able to read, but only me and the mods can post in it. So I'll go into the settings of these here and show you guys how that's set up. So if we look at everyone right here, it's set to not send messages. So right here we've got the X on the send messages, but they can see all of the messages. Then if we go under either admin or mod, they're both set up the same way. So for admin and mod, they can both send and read the messages. And when we do this, it overrides the setting for everyone. So we set this for everyone, and then we set for mods and admins that they can send messages, and that overrides what we set for everyone else. The channels we have under here are Important, Announcements, Warning, Plot Updates, and Hiatus. Depending on the structure of your roleplay, you might have different ones, but this is the structure that I use. So Important here lists all the documents that have all of kind of the must-read information about the roleplay. This makes it really easy for me when new people join because we can say, go read all this stuff before applying. So we've got rules, setting information, cast, you get the idea basically by looking at what's here. Then we have announcements. So these are things that we might need to at everyone for. So things like plot updates or welcoming new people or something like that. Then we have warnings. So if someone needs to be alerted to something or they break a rule, that goes in here. Then we have plot updates. So these are plot updates for the role play, but it's not something where I'm necessarily gonna at anybody um, to alert them that it's been posted. It's just, but it's something everyone's still going to need to know. Then we've got hiatus. So this is just for when someone goes on hiatus, we post who's going on hiatus and when they're supposed to be coming back. It's just for us to keep up with it. So let's close that. And the next we have the noob category. 
This is another category that everyone can see, but the difference here is everyone can also post in it. So everyone can post in the noob category, everyone can't post in the important category. So the way to make a category like this is just to go make it and not mark that private option. The channels under here are introductions, triggers and squicks, color set, and contact the mods. Introductions is, as it implies, is for introducing itself. This is one of the things that applicants need to do to join the roleplay. Then we have triggers and squicks. So this is optional. You don't have to post here, but the purpose of this channel is if you have some kind of role play topic that's a hard pass for you, post it here so people won't come at you with like, hey, do this plot with me, because they already know that particular topic is squicky for you. Now, what this channel is not is for controlling the rest of the role play. If you post here that you won't do miscarriage plots, for example, okay, that's fine. That's an upsetting topic. It's totally understandable that you don't want that in your role play. But if someone else in the role play wants to do a miscarriage plot, they can, and you just don't have to participate in it. And this is where channel descriptions come in. I have the descriptions on most of these channels, but it's really important for this one. So if we click up here, we can see that full channel description. And I would encourage you when you're setting up your channels to put in the description what the channel is intended to be for so that the topics are clear. Because sometimes you can't tell just from the little kind of title of the channel. So let's close that and let's look at color set next. This is for Dinobot. So we use Dinobot to set custom colors. If you'd like a video about how to do some of that custom color stuff and use Dinobot for that, let me know down below. I can make a, a video about that, but it's pretty simple if you look at how to set up Dinobot. So that's what that's for. Then we have contact the mods. So this is for people to ask questions to the mods. The reason I have this channel is so that people don't DM me questions that really any mod can answer. And if I'm needed for a specific question, someone on my moderator team will ping me to come answer it here. But for the most part, they can answer the questions just as well as I can. So there's no reason for it to be a DM to me. So let's close that and look at our next category, which is members. So these are all the channels that people can't see before joining the role play, but they're not really channels that we role play in. So first we've got plot and starter calls. Plot and starter calls is when you want new threads, you post here and people can leave an emoji and then go write starters for the people that emojied. That keeps things more organized. People are agreeing specifically to doing threads with each other and everyone knows what's going on. I'm thinking because this has to do with how I set up my Discord, I'm going to be making another video on this that goes into the Discord specific rules and how this all works. So let me know down below if that interests you because that's definitely on the, the to-do list for me to kind of explain this system a little bit better in relation to my rules for Discord. Next we have wanted plots. So if you have a particular plot you want to do, such as maybe you want a ship for your character, you can post it here. Then the idea is people can DM you to discuss that plot and you talk privately so there's no pressure to agree or disagree to it, like there is when people simply post about it in the open general chats for all to see. Again, for this one, the description is important and it explains all of what we're talking about. So if we click here, like you can see exactly what it is that I'm trying to do with this channel. So let's close that and look at the next one. Then we've got event signups. I talked in a previous video about how I do a signup system for events. So click the little card to learn more about that. But this is the channel for those signups. Next, we have polls. So anytime that I or one of the mods has a question where we need to get the opinions of the whole role play, we'll post in this channel. So that stuff doesn't get lost in the chats and people who come online at different times of day will be able to see it and get to contribute their opinions. Salt mines here, this is for negativity. So any whining or complaining goes here. This is specifically there so that when you first log on, you aren't met with a bunch of complaining and you don't want to read someone's whining all the time. And so then you can mute this channel. So essentially like, you know, we make friends in role play. So you want to come in and be like, hey, I had a crappy day today or something like that. But you don't necessarily want everyone to be seeing that when they first log in and have a negative experience for themselves. So we can put it in salt mines so that people that aren't comfortable with reading that stuff can mute it. And same idea for this spoilers chat right here. So this is a spoilers chat for fandom stuff. Um, and these, this and Salt Mines both are just normal chats. But for this particular topic, anytime you're talking about something spoilery, you can post it here so that it's not kind of, you know, in your face when you first log in. Same thing with this fandom chat, non-spoilers, same exact type of idea. 
So the point of all three of these, the salt mine spoilers and fandom chat, is essentially why they're separate. It's because these are things that I have found over time my members like to be able to mute or opt out of those types of conversations. Then we've got two other channels here, Head Cannons and Art Gallery. So the purpose of having these separate is because we want to be able to go back and find this information later. We don't want it to get lost in a general chat. So Head Cannons about the characters can go here and then you can scroll through just Head Cannons and it keeps it really clean and nice so you don't lose them. Same thing with Art Gallery. If you have people in your role play that like to draw their characters or draw scenes, you might consider separating out an Art Gallery for that. So let's minimize that. And then we've got last, but certainly not least, all the rest of the categories. And these are for actual role play. So how to make these categories for members only as explained in my previous video about setting up a Discord role play. So again, if you haven't watched that, go do it. But all of these are hidden until you join the role play. And once you do, you can see all of these. Each of the channels is based on location. So whatever locations people might use for threads in a role play, we create channels for them. Now, if you have a lot of active players, you can end up with a lot of channels. So generally, I try to keep the categories having about five to 12 channels. More than that, it can be really hard to scroll through them. So once a category gets more than about 12 channels, I'll consider making another category and breaking it out. So for example, if we go down here to this river channel right here, all of these used to also be under the forest category. So once the forest category got big, we looked at it and tried to find some way to make it a sort of subgroup for the channels. So there were several river related ones. So we made a river category and moved it to those because essentially before the forest one was really long because it had these channels and the river channels in it. We also make categories for specific events when those are going on. So I'll scroll up for that because usually whatever event is going on at the moment, we'll have it at the top. So this is our current event right here. It is Imbok. The reason to do that is to make sure that events have a specific start time and sometimes so that they have a specific end time. That way we can say no more starters for this particular event, for example, after a certain date because it's contained to just this group of channels. Also, once the event is over and people need to have those threads wrapped up, we can close those threads down easily. So the way we do that is to create a closed category with particular permissions. So let's pretend that this event was closing soon and we needed to make that closed category. So we're going to create category. So event closed in block. And it's going to be private. And we're going to make it members only just like we normally would. So let's scroll down to those roles. Okay, create category. And now it's all the way down at the bottom. And we're going to go ahead and edit that category. And let's go to permissions. And we're going to turn off the send messages permission for most of these roles. So member, it's going to go off. Veteran, it's going to go off and helper, it's gonna go off. Now, whenever the event is done, what we can do is drag the channels into this category and then no one will be able to post in the channels any longer. So they'll still be able to read them. And if ever, anyone ever wants to go back and read those threads, they'll still be able to, but they won't be actually able to post in them anymore after the event is over. So let's go ahead and save that for now. And get back. So this is also useful when you hit the Discord channel limit, which if your role play goes on long enough, that can happen. And these event channels are ones that you can delete at any point because they've been locked. Normally, at least for me, it, it, for several months by the time we get to the point of potentially needing to delete them. And that's it. So that's the way I set up the channels for my Discord RPG. What channels do I have that maybe you would consider setting up in yours or that you already have? What stuff do you guys have in your Discord RPGs that maybe I don't? And as far as kind of the next thing that we're going to talk about with setting up Discord RPGs, what stuff are you guys interested in? So I could talk about maybe the rules that I have in particular that pertain to Discord. I could talk about maybe bots that are useful, whatever it is, just let me know down below. And remember to like if you like this video, comment down below with any questions that you have, subscribe for more videos, click that bell for notifications, all the links to my social media down in the doobly-doo. Thank you so much for watching and make it a great day.